What's up guys and welcome back to the Bisons franchise. Now we're coming off a week where we ended up taking down one of our most dangerous opponents of the season in the Baltimore Ravens, 29 to 26. So if you're counting, that's four wins in the last five weeks and against some really good opponents too. However, that one loss did come to the Arizona Cardinals. So while this matchup here against the Buccaneers appears to be pretty simple on paper, that's not necessarily going to be the case because we seem to struggle against the weaker opponents. And the fact of the matter is the Buccaneers are on a cold streak right now, as we're about to see in this cutscene. So again, it might make it a little more difficult in all honesty. So the Buccaneers are struggling, but sometimes the team can trip up unexpectedly by looking ahead to the next game. And we've definitely done that in the past. So we are not going to go with the smug response. It is definitely going to bite us in the ass. So we're going to go with no fear here. And let's see if we can go in and win our fifth game in the last six weeks. So all we have to do is avoid falling victim to the trap game and end up beating the Buccaneers this week. And I think we can definitely do that. And that's partially because they are a team led by Jacoby Brissett. And for all intents and purposes, Jacoby Brissett isn't having a horrible season. I mean, he's got 1,600 yards, 10 touchdowns, and four interceptions. Has been sacked nine times, but really, realistically, he hasn't been turning the ball over too much. Only four interceptions is actually pretty good, especially compared to Frank Forbes on our side. And with 10 touchdowns, too, it definitely seems like they do kind of rely on the pass a little bit more. Uh, looking at the rushing attack, though, it looks like they do have two backs in the backfield for the most part. They do have Rashad White and rookie Luke Kinley who is actually putting together a pretty good season in terms of touchdowns. Looks like they do rely on him, I guess, more as a goal line back, but we'll definitely see once we get into the game. But he does have five touchdowns, does have a pretty weak average at 2.8, got 170 yards this season. But Rashad White is the one that they definitely lean on the most. Got 354 and two touchdowns. So again, two guys we're going to have to worry about. Brissett sometimes does get out, but honestly, probably not going to have to worry about him too much. Now, in terms of their receivers, obviously, they still have Mike Evans, and they actually have Jerry Judy as well, and actually, that's kind of our fault again, because obviously, we had to get all of our linemen on this team, and that meant giving Jerry Judy up, and it looks like he ended up going to the Buccaneers, but it looks like those two are really the main receivers here, along with Chris Godwin, and between those three, we actually have a lot to worry about in our secondary. Uh, Mike Evans is definitely getting the ball the most, and has the most amount of yards here with 620 with two touchdowns. Judy has definitely been a touchdown machine with five so far, but Godwin is definitely in the mix as well. Got 355 yards and a touchdown too. Now Conklin, their tight end, does have two touchdowns as well. We've only seen 20 receptions this season. So again, the three receivers are the ones we're going to have to focus on with Conklin also being kind of a threat as well. And it looks like their defense is led by Devin White, who is a fantastic middle linebacker. Obviously a really good leader for this team. Uh, Cansey has six TFLs so far, gains with four and a couple other guys with a few as well. In terms of sacks, doesn't look like they're getting a ton of pressure. So, you know, we've been facing a couple teams that do get in the backfield quite a bit, but thankfully that might not be the case with this team because they only have a handful of sacks so far this season and five interceptions as well. So with Forbes throwing the ball, we are going to have to worry a bit, but hopefully we can really rely on our rushing game and uh, not have to worry about passing the ball too much. So looking at all the stats and everything, I actually kind of agree with the computer here, and we have to defend the deep pass. Like I said, their three receivers do like to go deep sometimes, and we do have to worry about that because those are their three best players on this team. So I think we're going to defend that on defense. And then offensively, you know, they want us to run to the inside, and in all honesty, for the most part, that's really what's been working for us this season. So let's run to the inside with the chance to kind of switch it up at halftime too. Yeah, but unfortunately, Micah ended up getting injured in practice and is going to be out for this week with the hip pointer. It's rough to have a 99 overall on the bench now. But um, again, you know what? If there's going to be a, re a week where he's injured, it's going to be this one. We have a couple other difficult matchups coming up in the coming weeks, so at least it's against the Bucks. It looks like for the Bucks, we have Mike Evans, Levante David, and Tristan Wirfs as their three real impact players. We saw a couple other players on their team uh, that are really going to make an impact too. So again, this is going to be a tough game for our secondary, but hopefully our entire defense can really kind of buckle down and kind of hold them pretty scoreless because, again, our offense is decent, but with Frankie Forbes at the helm, uh, it's it's a little rough. We can't really rely on our passing, so we have to rely on our rushing. Uh, but again, we do have a really good running back, and hopefully we can lean on him this game. Let's go. Week 8 starts now. Thankfully, we're at home this week, too. Thankfully, we're in San Diego. It's a beautiful, sunny day. Thankfully, we're not playing on Thursday this time. We're not playing Sunday night, Monday night. It's just a regular day game. No pressure, no nothing. And it looks like we are kicking again. So let's see what we can do to start off the right way with our defense. Let's let's see what our defense can do here against Joby, uh, Jacoby Brissett under center. Ooh, and they start with the rush. 
And they end up picking up six on that one. All right, second and four. Yep, quick pass, and thankfully he throws it out of his reach, and it goes to third. Let's see if we can get him to a three and out right here. Third and four. They're going to go for a pass. Oh, bro, why are you not... Oh, my gosh. That was one of the worst defensive plays I have ever seen from this defense. Jerry Judy, of course, but, I mean, bro... I, first of all, you didn't step up to him when he was going to receive the ball. You just stood there and watched him get it. And then not just that, you had three guys there to tackle, and no one tackled him. Look at that. You, like, you should have stepped up right there. One missed tackle. I don't even know what that was. Two missed tackles. And yeah. Man, uh, that is not the way to start here. Now, what should have been a three and out is now seven points for them. Aaron Donald goes down with an injury, too? Bro, this is not good for us. And I, I didn't see the severity of it either. So we're missing our 299 overalls. And man, we're really going to struggle here, I think. Oh man, we need uh, we need a miracle. We're only 45 seconds into this game. And uh, we're already facing a, a couple of... Uh, a couple of things that are going to hinder us here. Well, let's run to the outside on this, I guess. Let's see if our line can hold up. Get a couple good blocks, and we can't get quite up to a first down, but at least we're two yards away. They're showing blitz, but that's not to say that they actually are, but let's see if we can hit Jefferson for a first down here. Oh, they are. And we can. Perfect. We get the ball out in time, and thankfully he picks up the first down with a nine-yard gain. Let's get back on track with the run here. Let's run it up the middle. Get a couple good blocks, and we only end up getting four, though. These guys are definitely upset that they have not been playing well, as you can tell. They've been playing pretty well today, so... Let's try to keep it up here. We're going to have Gabriel if he didn't overthrow him. And now we have a third and six. All right, we need to get the ball out pretty quick here. Let's see if we can hit Sweat on the screen. Nice blocks. And we ran into the defender, but he breaks off the tackle, thankfully. I was afraid that he was gonna he was going to let go of the block on the left, but he just didn't, I guess. But let's go. I don't feel like we should throw it, but we're going to. Let's go first and ten again. Gabriel can't quite catch that. Let's go back to the ground on second and ten. Let's run to the outside. Get some good... Bl Had some good blocks, but unfortunately, let's go with that one. And we lose one. All right, let's see if we can pick up a first here. We got third and long. <sighs> this is going to be rough. Let's, let's try it here, though. There we go. We got Jefferson down the middle, but it gets broken up. Dude, I, he was open. He was open. He just couldn't put enough zip on that ball. And now, unfortunately, we have to punt here. And we are still going to be down on the Buccaneers by a score. Not the way you want to start the game against the Bucs. Because they are starting off pretty hot. Oh my goodness. How do you not get it to him out there? Alright, let's go. First and ten. Get it! There we go! That gets picked off. And thankfully, that momentum comes back to us. Max Houston... Coming back with a vengeance and gets his first interception here. Brand new game now. Brand new game. And we're actually in their territory too. Let's go first and ten. Let's run it up the middle. Boy, we are not getting many lanes, but at least we're barreling forward for seven. And if they're just letting the middle just be wide open like that, let's keep running for it, right? Get some real good blocks. He, he was ready to outrun his... Uh, oh no. He's ready to outrun his blocker, but Nathan Gabriel going down again for the second time this season. And that's going to be a really bad injury. That is very unfortunate. That is three injuries today. We had Micah Parsons, Aaron Donald, and now Nathan Gabriel. But let's keep running uh, running the ball. Let's lean on them a bit. And that's going to be rough now. We only get two. Second and eight. Let's just get some yards here. Let's get Jefferson up. I unfortunately couldn't loft it above his head, though. Let's go back to the screen, though. Let's see if we can get it. They don't read it. That's perfect. Give me some blocks, guys. What are we doing? We had a for sure first down there, but no blocks came in to kind of help Mayberry out there. And now we have to settle for a field goal. The defense did all of that work. All of that work to get that turnover. And all we do is end up with three points. As Jonathan Murray gets it right between the uprights. Let's see if we can actually pop the ball out here. Our special teams has been incredible. We did fumble, but they end up recovering. What a hit, I will say. But man, unfortunately, we couldn't recover it. Look at this. 
Boom! Sit down! Oh, but it went, like, right back onto his lap, though. So let's blitz on this one. We've had a couple of injuries here on the defensive line, so we need to get some kind of pressure here. And he ends up picking up six on that one. Let's go with the cover, too. They don't seem to be thrown too deep, but still. Gotta defend it. Second and four. Can't get through. Dude, come on, you gotta tackle him this time. We can't have a repeat of what Judy did on us in the first one. So I think this is gonna be the last play of the quarter. Let's see if we can uh, put a hurting on Brissett here. And we can't. Dang. But he overthrows his receiver, and we got one more play this quarter now. Now, this will definitely be the last play of the quarter. I don't I don't really see him uh, not. Yep, they're going to go for a run. Go, oh, come on. Dude, are you kidding? What a juke, too. Holy cow, man. Who was that? Because that, that was a damn good play right there. I, I want to know how these guys are on a cold streak because they're playing really damn well. I don't know how we're going to stop them. Because, man, that rushing game is, is tough to deal with. But well, let's go. Second and ten. Can't get in there. And, unfortunately, he finds him wide open across the middle of the field. And that's Chris Godwin. Again, we knew he was going to be a problem, too. We named all three of the receivers. And, uh, well, with the exception of, I guess, Mike Evans, all of them have really kind of hurt us so far. Why does Jacoby Brissett look good? We made Kyler Murray look good, so why not let Jacoby Brissett be up on that board too? I mean, yeah, don't 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 worry about, you know, Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson. We made those guys look silly. But no, these guys, we need this offense to really go back to work here. Uh, let's go back to the game plan. Let's kind of run the middle here. Let's see if Mayberry can pick up some good yards. Oh, wow, he almost breaks out the tackle in game seven. Let's go for a play action here. Might not be smart, but let's let's go for it. That's perfect. We're going to hit Gary wide open. What a catch right there. And let's go. First down. Going right back to the ground, though. Let's go. Get that guy. Block him. There we go. That's beautiful. But come on, 72. What you doing? So second and one. We just need to get a first down here, but let's see if we can get a lot more. It looks like we're going to be able to pick up that block. Let's go. And we get it down to the 14. First and 10, though. We're actually knocking at the door. Let's see if we can get a score here. Oh, unfortunately, kind of went in a little bit. Only picked up five. Okay, let's go. Play action. Wow, what a terrible pass. Who are you even trying to hit? I saw Nixon was right there. So third and five, we should pass this, but we're actually going to go for the draw. I don't think they're going to expect it. There we go. Just get up for a first down. Oh, and a little bit more. Yeah, Montez Sweat just got way too much power. He knew he was going to push ahead. All right, let's go. First and goal. Let's see if we can pass for it. Nope, he's out of bounds, unfortunately. What a really bad throw. And no no use being cute here. No use being cute. Let's just run for it. Second and goal. Oh, unfortunately, he can't get ahead. And now we got the third and goal. Yeah, we're going to go for it no matter what, though. We shouldn't have been cute on that first one. But let's go. It's a touchdown. We're, go we're going for a touchdown here. I'm sorry. We need to go for it. And that's what happens when you go for it with a subpar quarterback. It's just been an absolute, absolute horrible game so far. So let's see if we can get a safety here. The defense is going to have to do it themselves. Oh, unfortunately, we couldn't get them down. But he does gain two. So at least we still kind of have it in range there. And let's just jam him up the middle here. Let's see if we can get to Jacoby. I feel like it's going to be a play action. No, it's not. And we stop him back on the one yard line. And now let's finish him right here. Come on, let's see if we can sack him. Let's get in the backfield. There we go. That's not quite a safety. But we do have it down on the one yard line again. First and 10, we got two timeouts and a minute and 46 to do this. Let's go get some... Not good blocks there, and we only end up getting two. It's either going to be Jefferson or White here. Let's see who gets open. We need to find someone here on second and eight. We got Jefferson open. Let's go. What a catch. Let's get up to the line. And let's run up the middle here, although the middle does not look open. But we're going to do it anyways. Let's go. Looking good. Gets to the outside. And he gets up there for a first down. Let's keep rushing to the line. No use in really calling our timeouts yet because we have four downs to get a score right here and two more timeouts 
Let's see if we can get up there, and no. Now we gotta call, call a timeout. Second goal, I think we can actually hit Gary for a touchdown here. We can! Falls in there, and let's go. We finally score before the end of half, and we'll get the ball back too, so we'll have a chance to go up for... Oh, let's go. What a, what a great celebration right there. But we'll have a chance to go up a score after, uh, after the half. Assuming we can hold them here at the end of this one. But look at that dot right there. And what a catch by Gary. And, and again, honestly, like I said before, our other receiver uh, has gone down with a couple injuries already this season, Nathan Gabriel. So it's really nice that he's kind of stepped in here and really been a uh, real godsend for us too. Let's see if our guys can stick on their receivers and have those two guys deep. But let's see if we can get some good pressure up the middle here too. Oh man, it's a screen. Come on, get him down there. Doesn't quite get the first down. Yeah, it looks like they're just running the clock out. And it looks like they're just going to kind of wave the white flag. And they're going to run one more time. And we take them down. And that is how we're going to go into half. I thought they actually had a chance to at least get a uh, field goal here. But again, they just... No wonder why they've been cold. That's why they haven't won games. We go into the locker room. Only down by four points now. And we do get the ball back at half. So let's see if we can actually take a lead for the first time this game. So let's go. I mean, looking at the rates here, I mean, we're doing better running to the outside, but Frank's been doing pretty decent as well. But I think we're actually going to run to the outside on this one. Um, and in terms of their game plan, dude, their throw medium has actually been pretty decent. But again, their inside run has been kind of what's killing us. So let's go for the inside run on this one and let's see if we can uh, kind of stop their rushing attack. All right, now let's just start this half the way that we ended the last one. And that was not doing stuff like that because we just lost three yards. That's all right, though. I think that just means that we have to go right back to the air, though. Let's see. Oh, well, that was a really bad pass. I should have waited a little longer and actually thrown to Hutchinson. Let's go third and 13. Not the way we wanted to come out of half, but let's see what we can do here. Oh, that was a way overthrown, unfortunately. Gary didn't look like he actually ran his full route either, but again, a really bad throw, and we go three and out. First and ten, our defense needs to make up for this offense. It's been two weeks in a row now, I know, but we need something. Good stop right there. They only get seven on that pass. Second and three. I feel like they're going to go for a run here, but we're still going to send some, uh, some good pressure to stop the pass. Oh, no. Come on, get to the... This, how is he that wide open? Those defenders were just so deep there and he just left Judy just wide open. I, I don't, for like a, just a huge gain right there too. <sighs> no, come on. This is not the way that I want them to pick up the offense. Oh, come on, get through. No shot, he caught that. That's, oh, was that Conklin? Pain dirt, who the f is Payne Durham I and mean, why the hell did he just score on us let's go let's run to the outside here let's get some better yards bro he can't hold his block again Maybear has never been taken down this much in the backfield so if we can't run to the outside let's run it up the middle that's some good blocks right there can we get up to the first down thankfully we can let's keep it moving may as well do it again our blocks up the middle have been pretty good until that one right there. And we only pick up four. Mayberry's only got five away from 100, though. This might be a good play right here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can hit someone. Okay, that actually worked out better than I was expecting. I hit the wrong button, but thankfully Hutchinson was open. Let's keep going back to the run, though. There we go. Find some good blocks like that. There we go. Scoots to the outside, and now he is at 111 for the game. Let's go for the play action here, and let's see if we can hit Gary on the out. Double covered, but he does not catch it. Second and ten, let's go back to the run. That's really what's been working. I don't know why we went away from it. Nice block to seal the edge, and we get up for a first down. I already know this is a mistake, but we're going to go play action right here. Yeah. Eh, thankfully, it didn't get intercepted, though. Second and ten, we're going right back to the run. And honestly, running it up the middle, I think, is going to sound, well... Sounded really nice until we saw what they ended up sending. So, uh, what do you say we get Sweaty here? Let's see if we can hit Sweat for a screen. No, they read that, but can he get outside? Let's go. Not too bad. And honestly, I think we're going to go for it on fourth and three. Yeah, sometimes you just got to have the stones to go for it. You know what I mean? So let's see if we can hit him. 
Let's go. That is going to be a first down. That's what I'm talking about. One of my favorite players from last season. Picking up the first down on that one. Ooh, against my better judgment, I am going to swap it to the left here. Let's see. Good hole right there. Can't quite get around him. Let's see if we can run one more before the end of the quarter. Let's go. Last play of the quarter. Let's go. There we go. Oh, he's out of bounds on that one. Dang. And we're going to have a third and goal to begin the fourth. We need to find someone for a touchdown right here. Third and goal. Let's do it. Yes, Hutchinson. Let's go. Thankfully, he holds on to it. Not what I would expect from a lineman, but Aiden Hutchinson with the touchdown today. And now we're going to bring it within uh, less than one possession. But to bring it within a field goal, we need to score on this two-point conversion. Let's see if we can do that. Quick out. He ends up getting his feet in. Let's go. You always got to trust Ernest Gary. Now we are within three. 21 to 18. That is a really horrible dance. That looks like something I'd break out. Let's go. First and 10. One back set. Can't quite get into the backfield. What? How did he break that ta- What is going on? Never have I seen that many broken tackles. That is crazy. Rashad White, though, turning into an absolute monster in this league, though. There we go. Only a seven-yard pass. And they're definitely not letting up from a passing perspective. Yep, but there we go. They actually went for the run on that one. They pick up the first. Dude, we can't let this be like a repeat of what we had against the Cardinals. Because I can't take another defeat to a subpar team. Yeah, and there we go. Really bad pass by Brissett. Let's continue to send some, man. Again, it's a little tough without Parsons and uh, and without Donald, but come on. We should still have the line to be able to deal with these guys. We should have been able to get back there, but we at least push it to a third and four. So if we want to get them uh, get them off the field, we need to send five here. Let's see if we can shake Brissett up. Ooh, they try to run it. Come on, stop them. And now we have it fourth and two. Do they go for the field goal or do they go for it? Well, never mind. Looks like they're punting it. I'll take that for sure. We'll take the ball back. Question is, are they going to fake it or is this real? Yep, they're faking it. There we go. And we stop them and we get the ball back. Thankfully, we didn't go for like an all-out block or anything like that. And there we go. He ends up saving it and we get the ball back and a chance to score here. Only down three. First and 10 on the 39. We run it up the middle, and we run kind of into the defender, but we still gain nine. Well, let's go. We're going to push it to the left on this one. Let's see if we can get a first go in this direction. Beat him. Let's go. Gets the edge on him. Thankfully, has that little bit extra speed uh, on Devin White, and thankfully, we get the first. We'll stick with it. We're going to get the ball to sweat on this one. Let's see if we can get some good yards with him. It is Montez Sweat, but he only picks up one. You know, we've actually been doing pretty well in the air, so let's see if we can pick up the first here on second and nine through the air. Let's see what we can do. We got Jefferson. No, Frank. No. And that defense picks us off. Rough. Come on, stop him in the backfield. We get him for a loss of two. And I don't know why we didn't just keep going with what was working, because we were doing fine on the ground. We we're picking up first downs. We would have been fine. But it's all right. Let's see if our defense can stop him again. Now we have a third and eight. Now let's get him off the field one more time here. Third and eight on the 42. Come on, let's get back there. There we go. Chase him down. Let's go. And Max Crosby filling in for Micah Parsons. Ends up getting the sack there. It's now fourth and 20. Let's go first and 10. We have three timeouts and the two-minute warning to work with. Again, we don't necessarily have to put it in the air, but we will eventually. And there we go. That's that's why we need to rely on the rushing game. Let's go second in inches. We just need to pick up a first down here. Let's go right up the middle. Dude, the counter play just doesn't work. Seems ridiculous, but on third and one, we're going to go with the draw here. Oh, that was a big mistake. And now it comes down to this. Let's see if we can hit Jefferson across the middle. He has been our most reliable receiver for sure. Let's go. Come on. I mean, the thing is, we still do have uh, three timeouts, so that could help us here if we can push him to a uh, four or a three and out right here. Come on, stop him! And there we go. We're gonna have to stop the clock, but I think that's gonna ice the game. Not the way we wanted to face another. Just oh my gosh! 
and that's going to be game now. And I don't know who to blame on this one, aside from, I guess, maybe me, but shouldn't have went for that for the draw on that one. We should have known that they were going to blitz, especially on third and one, but uh, not much we can do at this point then. And unfortunately, that's going to do it. And we dropped to the Buccaneers 24-18. to They had to get that last that last field goal in. I don't know. They had insult to injury for some reason. And again, Brissett just looked like a f***ing superstar here. 13 for 17, 214, three touchdowns. Only one interception. Frank, not great. A 69 rating, though. That's nice. 10 for 24, 126, two touchdowns and an interception. Mayberry had a great game. 27, 146, no touchdowns, though. Uh, Rashad White, 102, first 100-yard rusher we've given up in a while. Uh, Sweat only had seven yards, unfortunately. Uh, in terms of their receivers, man, Jerry Judy just had a fantastic day. Um, Conklin, 32 as well. Rashad White, 22. Um, even Godwin got in the mix. Yeah, but for us, though, no one broke two receptions. I was hoping that Jefferson was going to catch uh, that last one to keep the drive going, but he had two drops on the day. Hutchinson and Gary both had a drop as well. Uh, no one broke uh, 50 yards, unfortunately, but Hutchinson and Gary both had touchdowns. Uh, now, defensively, though, just really horrible all around. Either way, I mean, we still had six TFLs, which is which is great, but, I mean, that didn't really help us out too much. We had the one sack from Max Crosby, the interception from Max Houston. Uh, we did have one forced fumble, uh, which is by Truman Jones. Very nice. Uh, but, unfortunately, we couldn't recover that on the kickoff. And, unfortunately... I mean, we can always blame it on, you know, injuries to obviously Micah Parsons, um, Aaron Donald, as well as Nathan Gabriel. But in all honesty, even without those guys, that's a game we should have ended up winning. Well, that's uh, two weeks out of the last three that we end up dropping to a very, very easy opponent. We definitely kind of fell into that trap game. Uh, and yeah, we do have to be better than that lane. Thanks for pointing that out. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, frustration is abound. No sh I'm pretty frustrated myself. I thought we should have played better, especially at home, but we end up falling to them, and now we have two tough games coming up against the Colts and the Browns. But quickly, Nathan Gabriel is going to be out for four weeks. It looks like uh, Donald's going to be back for the next game, so that's good, but we do end up losing our receiver. So with that loss, we fall to the middle of the pack in the AFC West. The Chargers ended up winning, and they're now 6-2, and two, and we are tied with the Chiefs at 5-3. and three. All of us are at least at 500 or better, so our division looks really incredible. Not really helping us right now. Uh, we do go into Week 9 into Indy to end up facing the Colts, who are an 81 overall and 4-4 four and four on the season. They do have Jonathan Taylor as their top threat, and he does have 661 yards and 8 rushing touchdowns, so a threat he definitely is. Uh, it's going to be a pretty tough game. Uh, they do look a little better, I guess, than the Bucks, so maybe we'll have an easier time. And it's not like they're on a cold streak, so again, this is going to be kind of just head-to-head. -head, no real cold streak, hot streak, or anything to talk about. It's just two football teams who are kind of middle of the pack, just going at each other, trying to get a win. So let's go next week. We'll face Indy at Indy, and hopefully we can move back up to 6-3. and three. But Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. If you're new, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one against the Colts.